The CBS Radio Mystery Theater presents... Come in. Welcome. I'm E.G. Marshall. And we hold these, uh, what shall we call them, meetings... Adventures, seances, nightmares, usually at this time and place. So what is your terror? Are you interested in immortality? Would you like to live forever? Does the prospect of life everlasting intrigue you? Well, if it does, or even if it doesn't, stay with us. And you'll meet a gentleman who can sell you eternity. The catch? The hitch? The fine print? There isn't any. Would I lie to you? I, uh, I got all this gold. Let's make a deal. What good is gold? Gold? Gold is... Uh, I is... notice you have some in your teeth. Is that what gold is used for? Let's make a deal. What is a deal? I'll give you half. No. I am not amused by gold. Come you must go back. No, no. Come. I'm warning you. Okay, you asked for it. Come, Augie. Time to return. The bullet. The bullet, it... It just went through you. Put your toys away, Augie. And come back to your cage. <laughs> mystery drama, A Cage for Augie Carroll, was written especially for the Mystery Theater by Sam Dan and stars Leon Janney. It is sponsored in part by Buick Motor Division and Contact, the 12-hour cold capsule. I'll be back shortly with Act One. When you say Budweiser, when you say Bud, you've said a lot of things nobody else can say. Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis. Come on, kids. Your eggs are getting cold. Hey, honey, you know what I heard last night? Your own snoring. No, seriously. You know what I heard? There's a new health plan that covers all the doctor bills we'll probably ever have. Even a physical? Uh-huh. You're kidding. No, I'm not. Its name is, um... Oh, what's its name? Uh, RHN. Your good health plan. A good name to remember. Well, that's it. The RHN plan. You know, honey, it really is time you had a physical. Hey, kids! Oh, come on. Don't start that again. Haven't you heard about the shortage? I mean the shortage of clean air. Not only that, but you may be causing somebody a lot of health problems. Because air pollution is responsible for aggravating a growing number of respiratory diseases. Now, you sure this trip is necessary? Thanks. I was hoping you'd do that. Join with your lung association in the fight against air pollution. It's a matter of life and breath. The central character of our tale is Augie Carroll. That word character may be a misnomer, since Augie was never accused of having any. I'm afraid I must say that Augie is not a good person. As a child, he took things that belonged to others. 
When he grew up, he continued to practice. Of course, there was a dramatic increase in both the value of the objects and the violence of the methods. Against the wall is a stick-up. You punk! It is true, of course, that the wages of sin is death. But those are the final wages. The severance pay, so to speak. And the fact is, our Augie possesses quite a fortune. However, Augie is unable to enjoy his wealth at this point in time. There's a stumbling block, or I should say a cell block, for a jury of his peers has awarded Augie the status of non-paying, of involuntary guest at a leading state penitentiary for the next 99 years. However, Augie is no ordinary inmate. Even here, he's a great man. And even here, he has what is known as clout. Let us meet Augie in the exercise yard of the great prison. Hold on, Augie. Hey, Augie, you need cigarettes? Okay, okay, beat it. All of you guys. Except you, Pop. I want to talk to you, Pop. The rest of you clowns, take off. Sure, Augie. Okay. Uh, sit down, Pop. Take a load off your feet. What do you want with me, Og? You know who I am, huh? Doesn't everybody know who you are? Well, how come you never come around and see me, Pop? Why Why should I do that, Augie? Come on, you're an old jail rat. Who's looking out for you, Pop? Who's uh, giving you protection? Who? Nobody. Listen, Pop. You're talking to me. Augie, Augie, I'm, I'm the oldest one in here. I, I can't do anybody good. I can't do anybody harm. I, I want nothing... Nobody wants anything from me. Pop, there's got to be organization. You know what I mean? I know, but I'm just out of it. Nobody's out of it. Everybody's got to be part of the organization. That's all. All right, Augie. Count me in. You got to pay your dues. Dues? I don't have a cent. Come on, Pop. You get stuff from the outside. Your folks send you cigarettes, a little dull, this and that. I don't know a soul on the outside. I'm all alone in the world. All I own are the clothes on my back. You're lying, Pop. And I don't even own those. Those belong to the state. My boys can make it rough. Augie, I'm going to die soon. I'm so tired, you, you'd be doing me a favor. Okay, okay, but the joint's got to be organized. you, you got to give me something. Like they say, uh... A token, a good face, you know? <laughs> yeah, I know. Come to think of it, I do have something. Yeah, now you're talking. Tell me, Augie, what do you want more than anything else in the world? <laughs> you nuts! Tell me. I want to bust out of here. No. No. You just say that. Because that's what every con is supposed to say. But you really don't want to break out. Yeah, how do you know? Because if you wanted to escape, you do it. Huh? You've done it before, but you don't want to. And I know why. Yeah? Why? You're a dead man on the outside, Augie. That's what 99 years means. You have no friends now. They all want you for the gold. What gold? The gold you stole on your last job. The gold you got hidden away... Everybody knows about it. Cops, crooks, they'll all hunt you down for the gold. You stay here because it's the only place you're safe. Anybody ever tell you you talk too much, Pop? But even here, how long can you be safe? You're scared stiff. Some mobsters will come in and bust you out. You better shut up. I can give you the one thing money can't buy. Yeah. What? What you need. A hideout. A hideout? That's right. A place where you'll be absolutely safe and secure and comfortable. Where is it? Where? Huh. Well, that's, that's hard to say. Come on, where is it? Right now, it's in my cell. What are you talking about? Hey, okay, pull it on the door. What are you pull talking it. about, Pop? You'll see... I'll bring it here tomorrow afternoon. Bring what? Your hideout. How can you bring it? Okay, there's no more talking. Button up and that means everybody. Okay. All right, you got ten minutes. 
You can sit down. You can smoke. Hey, Pop. Hey, Pop. You come on over here. Oh, good afternoon, Hoggy. Yeah, well, what was her... What was that line you was handing me yesterday? Well, I... I promised you a hideout. Huh? I have it here with me. In this little bottle. See? This little white powder. Pop, you know, you're crazy. And you have enough of this powder to last through eternity. Almost. You've been in stir so long, you finally blew your lid. You have no idea how long I've been in stir, Augie. Add it up. Here and there, each time, each, each lifetime, I'd say about 950 years. What? I think that's some kind of record. Listen, Pop, just beat it, huh? Why, why don't you believe me? A guy says he's done 950 years in jail, and he wants to know why I don't believe him all. This powder, Augie, you take several grains of this powder... Oh, yeah, yeah. ...and your body will... Well, it, it, it goes into a, a state of suspended animation. That's the modern term. She called it a trance. She? She? Who are you talking about? Yes, it's at least 2,600 years ago. But I'll never forget her. Oh, for crying out loud. I never knew her name. She was a priestess in the Temple of Apollo at Delphi. And she fell in love with me. Hey, hey Pop, Pop, you, you know the sun's getting hot out here. Maybe you ought to get inside. Anyhow, you, you swallow a few grains, and you go into a deep trance. And when you come to, or wake up, it's hundreds of years later. And it's a new world, a new society. Nobody knows you. Nobody wants you. You start life all over. Oh, rave on. Now, now make plans to break out, Augie. Quickly before they come for you. Go get your gold. Sure, get the gold. And then where do I hide? Oh, you crazy old nuts. You promised me a hideout. You it? haven't been listening, Augie. You can hide anywhere. A secluded spot, a, a cave, a forest, a, a desert. Yeah, great. And what do I do for chow? I'm trying to explain this, Augie. You don't eat. You don't drink. You don't have any wants. You, you have no needs. You're oblivious to cold, to heat, to rain, to, to snow. And in several hundred years, you come alive again. But how can you go for... Augie, don't question. What do you mean, don't the question? The ancients, they lived close to the gods. All the gods. Those were the days of marvels and miracles and wonders. Today, we don't believe anymore. So we use science to try to duplicate what the gods... Never mind all that. Just tell me, Pop. If this is such a hard item, how come you ain't using it, huh? Oh, I have. Yeah? Many times. Well... I was a galley slave in Greece. A gladiator in Rome. I was in the Tower of London. The Bastille. No matter how I tried, no matter how many times I started fresh, I always wound up in prison. Well, wouldn't you have enough brains to, to learn? No, Augie. And you won't have enough brains either. Once a jailbird, always a jailbird. Oh, I'm sick of it. I, I haven't been able to stay out of jail for over 2,500 years. Huh? All I want to do now is... Is die. Guys like you and me, Augie, we never learn. Okay, break it up. Fall in. Augie. Let's go. Remember, I'm not a nut. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. When your time comes, just go somewhere. Take a few grains of that powder. Uh, yeah, yeah. Guard that powder with your life, Augie. Uh. It's your race in the hole. Good morning, Augie. Uh, I hope you slept well. Eh, uh, what do you want? Better get that cell all cleaned up. All right, all right. There's a new guard taking over my post. So? I'll be on the rear gate. None of you guys is a bargain. Oh, you'll miss me, Augie. The new guy reported in this morning. His name's Castle. He thinks he's tough. What else you got on your mind? Oh, I think you were a friend of Pop. Who said I was? He died last night. Yeah. 
Was that all you can say? Yeah? He left you his fortune. What fortune? Here it is. Come on, take it. Hey, what's this? Eh, I don't know. I asked the warden's kid. You know, the smart one that goes to high school? He says it's an ancient Greek coin from, uh, I don't know, what's the name of that place? Uh, ah, Delphi, something like that. I don't know. Tell me, Augie, how does it feel to inherit a fortune? <laughs> You punks think this is a town hall meeting? Start walking. So, uh, not you. You're Augie Carroll, huh? And you're the new screw, huh? A little tap across the gut. I also got one that'll knock your teeth out. Yeah, you figure you're pretty good with that club, huh? Well, yeah, you could find out the hard way. Figure you're tough, don't you, Castle? Mr. Castle to you, punk. See, what do you want? This is a penitentiary. So? You know what that means. It's a place where you do penance. Have you been doing any penance, Augie? Okay, Castle, what's your game? I want you to call me Mr. Castle. Yeah, what else do you want? I want you to think about your sins, Augie. Think about them and repent. <laughs> Okay, you got ten minutes. Sit down. Smoke. He was wrong, wasn't he, Augie? Oh. The man that wrote stone walls do not a prison make, nor iron bars a cage. You know better than that, don't you, Augie? What's on your mind, Castle? You must have been one of those slow learners in school. I guess these days they call them underachievers. Why do you want? I want you to call me Mr. Castle. Well, what's on your mind, Mr. Castle? You're on my mind, Augie, night and day. Yeah? Why? Let's... Let's go talk to the warden about it. Hey, hey, wait, wait. What, what are you charging me with? I'll think of something. Hey, all you guys. You guys. You're your witnesses. I'm being framed. Hey, uh, Shut up, punks. Now, Mr. Augie Carroll, start walking. Officer Castle and one prisoner headed for the warden's office. Walk through, Augie. Quick, Augie, dug in here. What? Do as I tell you. What's the big idea? Shut up. We'll head this way. This ain't the way to the warden's office. What do you care? You don't want to go there anyhow. That's where we headed. Out. Out. Out where there's booze and girls and two-inch steaks. What are you talking about? We're headed for the rear gate. Hey, wait a minute. Right now, there's only one guard. Hold it. You mean you don't want to go? Why am I getting into Castle? My name isn't Castle. Why you mean your name isn't Castle? And I'm not a prison guard either. You ain't a... Hey... Who? What are you? That's a pretty good question. You must admit, so far, our tale is replete with people who are not what they seem. For instance, old-timer convict Pop claimed to be a Greek galley slave. And here we have prison guard Castle suddenly disavowing his identity. Well, at least... You can depend on me to come back shortly with Act Two. What can you do to a family car to make it more than just roomy, comfortable, and utilitarian? Well, you could call it a Buick LeSabre, for starters. That'll get you the kinds of things you'd normally expect from a family car, plus some pretty uncommon family car traits. Like a level of exterior and interior elegance befitting a night on the town. The distinct formal roof line on the four-door hardtop LeSabre is highlighted by opera windows on either side. On the inside, you'll find comfortable cloth or vinyl seats, plush carpeting throughout, plus available options such as tilt steering wheel and automatic climate control air conditioning to turn ordinary errand running into motoring for pleasure. The 1975 Buick LeSabre. Consider it a family car as well as an instrument of pleasure. Buick's LeSabre. Dedicated to the free spirit in just about everyone. Squad! Halt! Cigarette? No need for that. I'm ready. Blindfold? Dash it, man. Let's get it over with. As you wish. Ready! Ready! Fire! Henry, wake up. Uh -huh. You're dreaming again. Your tax audit? 
Yeah, today's the day. But you got all your records together. Yes, I do. Uh, aren't you coming? You don't need me. You're ready. Mm. Can I help you, sir? Well, um... Oh, you're here for an audit. I, uh-huh. Won't you have a seat? Thank you. Well, now, let's see. If you have good records of your income and receipts for your deductions, an audit of your federal income tax return can be easier than you think. How did it go, Henry? Ha! No problem. Nothing I couldn't handle. This message presented on behalf of the Internal Revenue Service. You know what's been happening to Augie Carroll, a hoodlum presently resident in one of our state institutions. First, an old and apparently half-insane convict gives him a vial containing a powder which can put a man to sleep for several centuries, or so he claims. Now, Augie is being conducted to the rear gate of the prison by a guard who has just revealed he isn't a guard at all, but someone who is going to help Augie escape. Even a mental genius would have trouble grasping at the significance of all these events. It's no wonder, then, that Augie insists on stopping short to think things out. Well, well what do you mean, you, you ain't a real guard? That's it, Augie. How'd you get that uniform? How'd you get in here? It's a long story, but right now we only have time for a short one. Well, start talking. Let's talk about a hundred little blocks of pure gold. Each block weighs exactly one pound. So? So you freelance that one, Augie. And the big guy wants his piece. My deal with him was I could operate on my own, too. I don't owe him nothing. But this was his idea, Augie, to spring you. It's worth a piece, isn't it? What's he want? Fifty percent. No dice. Okay, Augie. Stay here. Keep a hundred percent of nothing. What's the matter? Lose your nerve? You afraid to bust out? I ain't afraid of nothing. Well, do we go or do we stand here in the corridor much longer? Okay. Okay, we go. Start walking. How'd you get in here? You know the big guy. He has friends everywhere. He can find out if some guy's being transferred like a prison guard. There was a guard named Castle. He was coming here from way downstate. Well, he never made it. How do we get out the rear gate? Just up ahead, the door. It's open. Walk out. <laughs> I'll turn left. A rake is leaning against the wall. Pick it up. Start raking leaves. You follow this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work your way slowly. Very slowly toward the gate. I'll be talking to the guard. I'll hold his attention. Get behind him. Cloud him. Here, take this blackjack. And make sure of him. What's the matter? I don't know how to sap a guy. Best if it's clean and we don't have to shoot. Now, here's the door. Walk out. Slow. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, well. Look at who made the cleanup detail. Big Augie himself. Yeah. We're going to show this punk how the other half lives. Get working on those leaves before I start working on you. Yeah, you know, Castle, I've been watching you. Oh, have you? Yeah. You're going about this job dead wrong. Am I? You can't treat these men like animals. Why not? That's exactly what they are. Now, you're brand new on the job, Castle. Now, let me give you a few tips. You think you know all the answers, huh? I don't know any of the answers. But I do know that for eight hours a day, we're just as much in jail as they are. So, why not just try to live together? Now, give a guy a break at... And never, never do what we're doing now. What's that? Never let a con get behind you. Hey! Hey, why don't you slug him? Uh, 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 rear gate! Rear gate! Uh, uh, run for rear it, gate. Yeah. Rear gate! There's the car. Get in the back. Hey... Hey, what's this? A uh, dame behind the wheel? Jump in and shut up. Get out of here, Jenny, fast. That box on the back seat. Slacks, sports shirt, change. Pass me a shirt and pants. Who's this dame? We need a wheel person, don't we? I never heard of a dame who could... Woman's go lip, Augie. A fantastic thing. Now, you always thought dames were only for having laughs with. <laughs> There's a million other great services they can perform. Jenny, stop the car. <laughs> Augie, your jailbird suit and my uniform. Toss them behind those bushes out of sight. Yeah, that's it. Okay, good deal. Okay, get going, Jenny. Wait a second. Head back toward the jail. 
What's the matter, Augie? Changed your mind? Busting out of jails is something I know more about than anybody in the country. In two minutes, you'll have cars, motorcycles, helicopters heading this way after us. But... Who's going to bother with a car that's kind of loafing along toward the jail? So we pass the jailhouse, pick up the pike, and head south instead of north. Move out and go slow. Slow, you understand? She understands. And why don't she say so? What can I tell you? She just isn't a talker, that's all. Looks like we lost everybody, so... Now let's head for the gold. The gold, huh? That was the deal. We spring you, you get those little blocks of gold, and we split 50-50. We, the big guy, and you. And, uh, you and her, what do you get? Jenny and I are on the big guy's payroll. We get a salary every week. Is that so, Jenny? She really don't talk, does she? Well, she's a very serious person. Very deep. She can't be bothered with trivia. Yeah? What does she talk about? Uh, It depends. On what? On whatever suits her mood at the moment. I don't like a dame that never opens her mouth. Uh, It may very well be, but the the fact is you don't have to like her, Augie. So to business. Let's head for the gold. Now? Augie, yesterday is dead. Tomorrow may never be born. All we can rest on and swear by is today. Okay, okay. Keep heading south. You heard the gentleman, Jenny. Yeah, how about if we stop for some chow, huh? Well, you can't risk being seen, Augie. We gotta eat. Oh, I guess. Jenny, that's a diner up ahead. Pull into the parking lot. I'll go in and pick up some food. Uh, Augie, you try to keep out of sight. This ain't the first time I've been on the land. <sighs> Augie? Huh? Well, what do you know? She talks. Listen, what gives with a dame like you? Never mind all that. I don't have much time. You don't have much time either. Yeah, why? He's going to cross the big guy. He is? Yeah, he wants all the gold for himself. He does? Where do you come in? The two of us. We're together. So what does he want to do? You take us to where it's hidden. He shoots you. We take the gold and leave the country. So? Why is that a bad idea? Oh, it's a great idea. It's got one thing wrong with it. It can't work. Why not? You know why not. You don't cross the big guy. Because if you do, there's no place in all the world you can hide from him. And what does Castle, or whatever his name, say to that? Oh, he laughs. He figures he's pretty smart. Well, he went to college. Okay, okay. Well, what do you tell me all this for, huh? Because I don't want no part of it. I, I want to get in wrong with the big guy. That's good thinking. It's it's not like I didn't try to talk him out of it, but... I don't know, sometimes a guy just won't listen to reason. Yeah, I know. So, well, there's something he don't have to know. Yeah? What? You don't have to know that I'm giving you this little thirty-two revolver. Take it. Sure. Sure, thanks. Now, remember, you're safe till we get to the gold... And then... Look, you don't have to tell me what to do. You know, it's really a shame. He's so educated. He speaks so nice. Now, why would you ask a question like that, Augie? I mean... I mean... Well, why would a, a mug like me want to know about stuff like... Uh, like trances. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Ancient Greeks and Romans. Well, I, uh, I've done a lot of reading in jail. Ah, you, you know, know you could read. Ah, uh, you're so smart. But you're just a hood yourself. Why ain't you teaching college? There's not enough money in it. Yeah. So, so what about them ancient Greeks? Hmm? Well, there were legends, stories of magic, miracle healing, trances. The ancients knew many secrets. But all knowledge of them has disappeared. Maybe we're rediscovering those secrets through science. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he said. Maybe what the gods revealed to the priests in the ancient temples, they they now reveal to the scientists in laboratories. Hey, slow down, Jenny. Up ahead, uh, 
Is that the country road where we're supposed to turn off? Yeah, it looks like it. Go ahead, Jenny. It's a bad road to travel at night. Yeah, yeah, but uh, it's like a rainbow, you know what I mean? There's a pot of gold at the end of it. You said there was a, a hut just off to the right. Yeah, yeah. Stop the car, Jenny. Maybe we passed it. I, I, I don't see anything. You don't? Well, why don't you turn around and look? Hey, what the... I never like to shoot a guy in the back. Where'd you get that gun? Wait. Ginny. Ginny. This is one of them times she got nothing to say. Listen, Augie. Now, now, listen. Maybe we could discuss... Sure, with... sure. But me, I always discuss things best with this. No! Yeah. Well, that's one down, Jenny. What do you mean, one down? One down, one to go. But I... I saved your life. So I say thanks. But you can't. You can't kill me. I can't? Why? Because you can't. You can't double-cross a big guy. Who says? You can't double-cross the organization. They'll hunt you down. They'll never find me. You can't hide. I got a place. Augie. Augie, look at me. Look, I'm not so bad to look at, am I? No, no, you're great. Then take me with you, huh? You wouldn't want to go with me, baby. I would. I would. I'll be gone a long time. I don't care. Want me to tell you how long I'll be gone? I said I didn't care. I'm going to be gone for three, four, maybe five hundred years. But I don't... What what are you saying, Augie? I'm saying I'll be away maybe five hundred years. You're crazy. That's how it goes, Jenny. I gotta say goodbye now. Don't show me. Well, the die, as they say, is cast. Augie has reached and decided to cross his Rubicon. The vial of white powder is in his pocket. Now to pick up the gold, find some remote spot, and sleep, perchance to dream, for uh, three, four, five hundred years. We'll see how this all works out when I return shortly with Act Three. Give your hand to a friend. Give your heart to your love. But give your cold <laughs> to contact. The sooner the better. The common cold is a rotten thing. You miss so much. Sneezing, drips, and congestion can drag you down. Then... Ask yourself the contact question. Six or three or one? You'd need six cold tablets, two every four hours, or three ounces of Cole's liquid, one every four hours, or just one contact for up to 12 hours continuous relief of those symptoms. That's daytime, then nighttime relief. Both the others have things for aches and fever, and the liquid, something for coughs. Not found in contact 600 tiny time pills. Here's your cold. Six or three or one. Take contact. Only as directed. We're about to join Hustleton Chevrolet's recreational vehicle team. And the coach is setting the fall lineup. All right, man. I'm going to set the fall lineup now. As you know, this is the time of year when we here at Hustleton Chevrolet really pull out the stops on the deals on motorhomes, mini motorhomes, and truck and tent campers. And sportsmen, of course, will be able to set their sights on special offers on crown tent campers, open road mini motorhomes, Titan motorhomes, and Lake truck campers as well. Now, we've got to keep in mind that folks will be taking their fall vacations, too. So remember, guys, this year, Hustleton Chevrolet's recreational vehicles will be the best team in the league. And the prices may never be lower. Now that's a winning combination. Well, you just heard it, folks. Join the winning team at Hosselton Chevrolet Recreational Vehicles, just east of Rochester on Fairport Road, one minute from Expressway Exit 31F East, serving the automotive needs of this area for over 55 years. And now Augie has more trouble than any one person can handle. An escaped convict, he is urgently wanted and pursued by the law. 
Since he has a suitcase containing 100 pounds of pure gold, he is being avidly sought by the underworld. He also has a vial of white powder, the contents of which can enable him to go into a death-like trance for several hundred years, or so he has been told. But can he believe such a thing? And does he have an alternative? That white powder could be the answer. But uh, what if it's a phony? Suppose it's a poison. These are the thoughts that spin about in Augie's head as he drives along the road to, uh, well, so far, to nowhere. We interrupt to bring you this latest bulletin. Killer Augie Carroll, who escaped from the penitentiary yesterday, is still at large. However, a spokesman for the authorities is confident that Augie will be captured. As the spokesman said, too many people want this guy. He'll turn up in a day or two, dead or alive. Yeah. And I can also turn up in three, four hundred years, too. And how do I know Pop was on the level? Can I just take that powder and go out like a light? And come back just like that? Yeah, and if I can, what will it be like all the years from now? Yeah. Maybe... Maybe I can find a hideout. There's got to be somebody I can trust. Somebody. Not everybody's a rat. Jerry. Jerry, sure. Sure, Jerry. Marty. Let me in quick. Why, sure. I need a place to cool out. Oh, sure, Augie. Only, a... only what? Well, only the cops will be sure to check here. So what? You're clean. You are clean, ain't you? Sure. So, they got to take your word. You ain't seen me. Now, first thing I got to do is hit the sack. Just go in the bedroom. Uh, Oh, let me take that suitcase. It looks heavy. Hey, keep your hands off it. Okay. Sleep as long as you like. And there's uh, there's plenty of heat in the refrigerator. I'll see you later. Where are you going? uh, I'm working tonight. The band's still playing at the Silver Slipper? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. We're in solid. Who got you the job? You did. And who staked you to all their music lessons? You did. I just want you to remember what you said a long time ago. You said you'd never forget it. I haven't. Okay, beat it. I want to sleep. Uh, sure, Augie. Uh, I'll see you. Hey, Jerry? Yeah? Come here. Well, what is it, Augie? Hey, tell me, Jerry, what's this card? Card? I just seen it on the table. On oh. the phone. Oh, oh, that card. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it says, uh, City Police Force Special Investigations. Sergeant Morton, private number 227830. Uh, well, let's, uh... Um... That's what? Uh, well, the cops were here, Augie. Yeah? Well, you know, they'd be sure to come here. Yeah? And this cop, this, uh, Sergeant Morton, he said to me, have you seen Augie? And I said, no. <laughs> And he said, well, if uh, <clears throat> if you hear any news at all about Augie, just call us at this number. He left the card. And and and, and were you going to call him if I showed up? Augie, how could you even ask me such a question? Were you, Jerry? Never, Augie, never. And why did you keep the card? Well, uh, <sighs> you know how it is. I just... Why did you keep the card, Jerry? Well, you know... Uh, Look, the guy, he, j- he just left it. If and... you wasn't going to use it, why did you keep it? Augie, Right I... here, right next to the phone. Andy. Augie, will you listen? And all you got to do while I'm fast asleep is make one little phone call. The cops get me and you get all the gold in the suitcase. Right, Jerry? Augie, please. You shouldn't have kept the cards. Oh, Augie, oh, Augie, you've got to listen to me. You, you, you don't believe that I'd ever call the cops. Oh, I know that you never call the cops, Jerry. Augie, don't. Please, you can't. You can't. <sighs> you can't even trust your own brother. What a world. <laughs> Escaped convict, Augie Carroll, has been traced to Mountain City. He is armed, he is dangerous, he is vicious. Spokesmen for the authorities are confident his recapture is a matter of hours. Ah, shut up. (sighs) Maybe. Maybe I better hole up someplace and take that powder. 
Ah, but that's it's crazy. It's got to be crazy. Pop had to be crazy. How can you just take a... Wait. Wait a second. Maybe... Maybe I could get a deal on a big guy. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's me, Augie. Yeah. Never mind where I'm at. Now, just tell me. What kind of deal can we make? Oh, you mean 75%? Castle or whoever he was said 50. Yeah? Yeah, come over just like that, huh? And how do I know I don't get bumped off the minute I walk in, huh? Tell me. How do I know? <sighs> what am I gonna do now? What? <laughs> Here. 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 Here, right here. Right by these rocks. Yeah, nobody. Nobody could ever find me here. Hey, now. All I gotta do is, is take this powder. You know, I, I, I wake up, it's hundreds of years from now, and I got the gold, and I can start all over, and, and I got it made. I just take the powder. And <laughs> it looks like I took a powder into the future. <laughs> well, here goes. Yeah, no. Yeah, don't taste too bad. How about try some more? I want to be gone a good long time. This powder, Orgy. You only have to take this powder. That's your sins, Augie. Please, Augie, take me with you. You can't. You can't kill me. Take me with you, Augie. You can't hide, Augie. Take me with you, Augie. You can't hide. Don't kill me, Augie. Take no me matter with how you, many Augie. times I took that powder, take I always wound you. up in jail. Don't kill me, Augie. Once a jailbird. Take me with you. Take me with you, Augie. Let me out, I'm dying. Uh, where was it? Oh, uh, I was dreaming. Hmm. I fell asleep, eh? I took the powder and I fell asleep, eh? The gold, the gold, eh? Oh, here it is, in uh, a suitcase. And, and over there... Well, there's a car. And these rocks. And if it's 500 years later, the, the car should be a heap of rust. But I ain't. And my clothes. They should be rotted away. But they're still brand new. Yeah. Oh, so the powders are phony. <laughs> How could such a crazy thing work? Yeah, I can stay here and die. Or I can go back to jail. Augie? Hmm? Augie? What? Augie, give me a lift back, please. You? Well, you're, you're, you're Jimmy. Yes. You, you, you can't be Jimmy. I, I killed you. I, I, I killed you. Yes. You killed me. You're dead. Oh, I've been dead for... It must be 800 years. 800 years? You took a lot of that powder, Augie. Well, if... If you're dead 800 years, where, 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 where'd you come from? I've come from out of your head, Augie. Huh? They found me inside your head. They? Yeah. Well, who, who, who's they? They? The schoolmistress and her people. 
They found me. And Castle and Pop and Jerry. And the jail and the gold. They looked inside your head, Augie. And they found it all. No, 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 no. You ain't my head. You're real. I didn't kill you. You did, Augie. You did. I must have missed. Well, I won't miss this time. Don't shoot me, Augie. This time I'll make sure of you. You'll only foul up my circuits. And I'll have to go to the repair shop. And the mistress will be angry. This time... Augie, we're due back at the jail for another performance, dog. Oh, Augie. Why did you do that? You never... What the... Huh. Well, you, you, you ain't real. You're nothing but a... It's a doll. You ain't real. Augie. Huh? Well, who are you? You know very well who I am. I am the schoolmistress, Helena. Yeah? And you must come back to the cage. Where am I? I realize you're a member of a lower order of life with an undeveloped mentality. But still, you could try to learn. But I don't understand. I don't know. You are the only remnant of a primitive race that once inhabited this planet. What are you talking about? Whether you kill yourselves off by war or disease or some other stupidity... Hey, listen. Or whether all of you simply left this planet, taking all your records with you, we shall never know. But you are the sole survivor. In your head... We can read the only clues to your race that remain. This ain't happening. It it can't be happening. You had two classes of people as we reconstruct your thoughts. Those in prison and those outside. Look, 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 it's a gag, huh? Tell me it's a gag. Those in prison always try to escape. Those outside always tried to bring them back. That was the business of your society. But I ain't done nothing to you. And so, you must go back to prison. But why? You must go back so that you may escape again. But if I'm going to escape, why do I you have You will to... spend what remains of your life escaping and being recaptured. Why, why, why? So that our children may study you and examine the workings of a lower order of hey, life. Hey, hey, hey. I got all this gold. Let's make a deal. Gold? We notice you have some in your teeth. Is that what it was used for? And why do you carry such a huge extra supply? Come, Augie, it's late. I'll give you half. You will go back to prison. Pop will give you the powder. Castle will help you escape. You will kill Castle, Ginny, and Jerry. Once again, you will wake up here. And you will go back to prison again and again and again. As they say, there is no armor against fate. Poor Augie. Condemned to eternal escape and recapture. But isn't that everyone's fate? Don't we strive to escape our faults? And aren't we constantly being recaptured by our weaknesses. Let me recapture you in just a few moments. You're 17. Well, that's plenty old. Old enough to know about things like grass and speed and acid and smack. We probably can't tell you anything about the stuff you haven't already heard or maybe even found out for yourself. So we don't intend to give you any advice. You wouldn't listen. But the trouble is... Neither will your kid brother. He doesn't know half of what you know. He doesn't know how dope can affect your body. He's never spent a violent night hugging a friend who was on a bad trip or watch a guy nod off in class and fall to the floor. He's just a kid and a real setup for anybody out there selling the stuff. We'd like to warn your little brother. Too bad he doesn't trust us. We can't get to him. But maybe you can. 
an advertising council campaign. And so, Augie Carroll. Can you imagine? Augie turned out to be the sole survivor of the human race and the only repository of our accumulated culture and wisdom. And it was from Augie that another race received its entire concept of our civilization. A bum rap for mankind, you say? Well, suppose you were the only survivor. What could be learned from you? From me, you can learn that we'll be here again with another mystery. Our cast included Leon Janney, E.V. Juster, Robert Maxwell, and Earl Hammond. The entire production was under the direction of Hyman Brown. Now, a preview of our next tale. Artie, you sounded just like Handsome Harry. I am Handsome Harry, sweetheart. Just using Stupid's body for a while. You... You are using Artie's body? Until I learn how to materialize, if I ever do. They tell me on the other side, in that limbo joint, it takes a lot of patience and practice. Yeah, what do they know? They even told me I'm getting this hate out of my soul the wrong way. Well, I haven't wanted to say anything. All right, so uh... don't. They say taking out my hate on Tex and Dory... Only make my hate grow bigger. Said I gotta find forgiveness in my heart. I told him to take a part. I know what I'm doing. I hope so. Radio Mystery Theater was sponsored in part by Anheuser Busch Incorporated, Brewers of Budweiser. This is E.G. Marshall inviting you to return to our mystery theater for another adventure in the macabre. Until next time, pleasant dreams. <laughs> 